Hi, I'm Tin Chu, a surveyor in National Land Commission <coughs> of Bhutan. So, this is a four year circuit. So, I will uh, start with the project manager starting of the job. So, the project path that's already given internal storage and it gets saved into the circuit and into the project file. So first of all, you need to create a new job. So job, so I will so say job one. Say so coordinate system parameter type. So local parameter. So if you wanted to have the name of the operator, you can give it. And the name of the device and some notes. The date created is already been reflected here. And the info of how many the disk space is there. It's already given so I'll just press OK so by default it uh, gets into the coordinate system parameters so coordinate system you can give the your desired coordinate system like uh, I will say local so local local means the place or the coordinate system where you are actually located the current location so ellipsoid parameter wgs84 or otherwise be speci specified and then give the other name like grs80 and many more so i just now i'll keep wgs84 and then okay so for the parameter uh, project file you can keep universal transverse marketer or the transverse marketer so here in Bhutan we use transverse marketer and the center meridian for the local whichever whichever and whatever number you have I'll just give 89.222 like that just I have just randomly picked and then I'm just giving it it's not actually a uh, actual number so false easting so two five one two three four five okay and i'm just picking up randomly it's uh, actually not the real number that it actually is so press okay so the coordinate system it's get into the local coordinate system now so other parameter <coughs> like geo file you need to upload geode file manually so like uh, if you wanted to use geode file there's a part given and then you need to pick a geode model file that you have already saved in, in your internal storage so for now I'll not use this one and then uh, what I can do is a bonus tip uh, is that the local coordinate that we have uh, just now enter so it can be used for the future reference too by exporting so export into the local disk local disk is uh, situated inside the internal storage inside your uh, controller or raccoon so i'll just keep local local and be specified and give the name of the state that you are in xx so okay and then okay so you're done with the uh, managing of the project and the coordinate system and if you wanted to cross check then you can go to the coordinate uh, system and you see the coordinate system is in local and the ellipsoid parameter that i have uh, used is wgs84 and that's all that's all what i have done actually and then after you do away with that one you go to device and then go to rover and then you do some seating for now actually i'm not connected with the receiver so i won't be able to connect so i will skip this step and then i will directly uh, go to the management of file only so here you see 
coordinate point library so here is the uh, the library whatever you have uh, picked up it will be shown here picked up in a sense the third bit points so file manager you can manage your files here you can import you can create a new file see and then you can delete you can open so coordinate system I have already explained and the uh, calibrate point if you wanted to calibrate your point the base point calibration the marker point calibration <clears throat> so you see you have to enter the known point coordinates and the current base coordinates the, you have to give the parameters and the result uh, it will show the how much the uh, it has uh, the difference the displacement distance and the elevations and the northing and then you can calculate and then it will be calibrated automatically and a file export now we'll go with the file export so for the file export these you have already created job one and then you want it to export so to export uh, literally here I use CSV file so in order to use this uh, CSV so what you can see is uh, you can see a lot of <coughs> formats point name code original latitude and many more actually this is not needed so we need to have a desired our own desire points so in order to do that one we need to do a, a format file so we do a new one you give a name to that one just randomly vvv and the uh, field delimiter is comma and then extension it will be csv and the file header i will put it off or otherwise you can put it on if you want to look but actually i already recognize that because i've been using a lot of times so point name i'll select easting northing elevation and then a quote or the description so this much only i <coughs> actually i'm required and then when you do you see file export it's already been uh, VVV you so we select VVV and then it gets what we require so export and then it will directly get export into your internal memory you can give a job name here or you can see job one so export it's been export now we are back so this is how you do the exporting of jobs and then you can connect that cable and then connect to your laptop and then as being an android it doesn't require any active sync or like in a windows so it directly gets downloaded there like a mobile phone so for scan uh, scan it's uh, used to scan actually used to scan the uh, the bar the bar uh, the QR bar of the Bluetooth and it can scan a lot of things like QR quotes of uh, when we connect with the receiver and the ro uh, rover so you can connect that uh, with the help of scan we need not have to search and we maybe we need not have to enter the serial number so we can directly scan and then it can be done so cloud setting it uh, uh, literally it goes with the cloud which means it can uh, through the internet it can be transferred the data can be transferred uh, from cloud so it can be stored into the cloud and then the other the people who is with the internet can use it and then share the information accordingly this is a so software setting and the software about this is how you register actually 
so this is software setting software setting is the setting that you can do shortcut settings whatever you want you can do settings from here these are all the settings and then software about this uh if you wanted to do the activation you can do the activation here 